Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express. Very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? People who live in places where natural disasters are natural, and they are surprised when it happens. Hawaii now is freaking out because of the, the volcanoes erupting, the lava's flowing, there's sulfur and, and toxic shit shooting into the air, and they're surprised. Folks, look, I get it. Don't get me wrong. I have fans and friends in Hawaii. I don't want to see anybody die or get hurt. But 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 I but the Hawaii the Hawaiian Islands were formed by volcanoes. What's wrong with these people that live in places like this all over the world? I don't get it. Every time Mother Nature makes a nasty fart, you're shocked. If you if you live in a beach, you're gonna get hit by a hurricane. If you live in the floodplains, you're going to get flooded. If you live in the Midwest where tornadoes are possible, you're going to get hit by a tornado. If you live in the mountains and there's wildfires, there's a possibility your house is going to burn down. It's like marrying a prostitute. You know, eventually she's going to bang the mailman. Then when you come home and say, wow, I, I can't believe she banged the mailman. Well, guess what? You married a whore. A whore. A whore. Where I come from, whore. The rest of the country, where I come, it's whore. Folks, look. What I'm trying to say is you, you got to take the good with the bad. It's the old tit for the tat, the yin and the yang, the James and the con, the cheech and the chooch. Basically, if you live on an island that is a volcano and was formed by a volcano and the volcano is still active, you might be affected by the volcano. Don't buy a new car. Buy a helicopter, then you have a chance to escape the volcano. People who live where natural disasters happen and are surprised when they happen, that's what ticks me off.